Title, Menage Exodus Wanted, Nikki's Neighbors Crying Out for Peace, Blame Husband's Shady Past. TL, DR, Superstar Nikki Minaj and her hubby, Kenneth Petty, who just so happens to have a checkered past, have got their new ritzy neighbors in Hidden Hills in an uproar. The residents have put together a petition, which is swiftly gathering signatures, hoping to expedite the exit of the music queen and her controversial beau. The concern? Kenneth's criminal record and registered sex offender status, which apparently isn't the kind of extra the Hidden Hills folks signed up for. Nicki Minaj, a name synonymous with chart-topping music, and her husband Kenneth Petty, known for a rap sheet of a different kind, recently settled down in Hidden Hills, trading in their suitcases for a swanky mansion. However, it seems their new neighbors are finding it hard to roll out the welcome mat. Why, you ask? The reason boils down to the not-so-music to their ears history of Mr. Petty. Back in 1995, Kenneth found himself on the wrong side of the law, convicted in New York of attempted rape. This led to a prison term of more than four years and a permanent status as a registered sex offender. Remember when your mom said your past could come back to haunt you? She wasn't kidding, was she? Fast forward to the present, this blast from the past is creating a wave of concern among the Hidden Hills residents. Leading the charges one Beverly Barden, who's taken upon herself to get the ball, or rather the petition, rolling. The primary bone of contention? The safety of the neighborhood and the potential plunge in property values. Because let's face it, who wants the sex offender next door tag on their Zillow listing, right? Ever since Kenneth's recent update on the Megan's Law website with his new swanky address, the situation has been akin to a ticking time bomb. To add fuel to the fire, Kenneth is currently serving a one-year home detention stint for failing to register as a sex offender in California. Talk about a housewarming gift, huh? But one can't help but ponder, is it fair to hold Nikki responsible for her husband's past actions? Should an individual's past determine their future, their freedom, and their choice of residence? Are the neighbors justified in their concern or is it an overreaction to a man who's already served his time? We would love to hear your thoughts. But remember, the real question here is not about who's right or wrong. Instead, it's this, can a leopard really change its spots? Disclaimer, the views, thoughts, and opinions expressed in this article belong solely to the author. This is not intended as legal or investment advice. Always consult a professional when making decisions related to legal or investment matters. So, folks, use your food for thought, should people be held accountable for their past forever? Or should they be given a chance to move on? And how much can or should a spouse bear the brunt of their partner's past actions? Let us know, light brown skin.